Welcome back everybody to Bikini Bottom Tours. Today we have episode three in the series and today we are showing off one of our biggest builds on this world, which is Atlantis, along with Prehistoric Times, which is another big build. So hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss an upload and let's get into it. Anything that you guys have built, Drew, I just realized that you were muted that entire time for me. Okay, everybody, so this is the museum that SpongeBob and Patrick find the boat to Atlantis and prehistoric times. So we'll show you the outside here. This is the dragon face up top, which I think looks really good. Yeah, I like the tail. Yeah, I do too. It was really, really hard to get it, it to... It's really hard to get it to curve like that, but I think it turned out really well, along with the just the overall aesthetics part of the boat, like the mast and the the little banners with the museum on it. I just think everything that was added is a nice touch. Yep. So we can move inside. Yep. The old museum was a lot smaller too. Yeah, and it didn't really hold as much. Like when you walked in, there was only like a four four block space and now there's like a it feels like 12 but i don't know what it actually is yeah but it was yeah it was super small but i think that this turned out really well we got the paintings on the wall over here and then we'll show you guys atlantis here in a second but i think first drew's gonna show us prehistoric times yep right this way i did another portal that looks like a rock kind of not really. So, when you walk out of the nether portal, you're instantly teleported into the past, which is prehistoric times. Mm -hmm. So, you walk down this little pathway, and we see Spongebob, Squidward, and Patrick's house from the prehistoric time episode. And there's also some rocks giving off steam behind the houses. So I think we're going to start with Spongebob's. It, it's pretty much just a dried out pineapple. And it's really accurate to what it looks like in the show. So we can go inside. I think the and, outside looks really good. Yeah. Well, once we get inside, there's really nothing in it because they really don't show us anything in the show. Except for when he wakes up, this rock drops on his head, so he wakes up. So we added that, but yeah. Other than most that, these, that's really most of these builds are really simple on the inside and outside. So that made it nice and easy to build. Yep. So next we got Squidward's. It's not um, the bluish tint as it is in modern times. It's kind of this rock, this grayish rock, which looks really cool. Um, when you go inside, you can see there's like some plants right there. And then upstairs is his bed, and then just a little place where you can put his sheet music. Um, uh, yeah, that's really it for Squidward's. We also have these three little rocks that go up to his house, just like in the show, which are pretty accurate as well. And the yeah, third... Um, oh, what were you saying? I was just going to say last, we have Patrick's right here. Yep. Like he just said, the last build is Patrick's. Patrick's rock. And then we go inside. It's super, super simple. Just a little place where you can lay down. And that's it. <laughs> yep. And then we got the trees over here. Because in prehistoric times, there was, like, trees for some reason. But that's what it was the in the show. The nice thing about building it in the nether is it gives off this, like, red air, kind of, out in the distance. So it looks like it was actually, like, a different time, which mm -hmm. I think is a really... Adds a really cool touch. Yep. And then if you come out here, you can actually see it is just another. And it looks like we were going to build this 
way taller. And I'm really yeah. glad we didn't do that. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> glad we didn't build it that tall because we really didn't oh. need to. <laughs> Holy cow. That would have been huge. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just did it out of blue to, to make it look like the sky. Mm -hmm. I think it looks really good. Yeah, so we'll meet you guys back at the museum. Because as you guys are going to see, when we come out of the nether portal, it's just a random, random spawn. Okay, now that we're back at the museum, we will show you guys the part that has to do with Atlantis. So if we come over here, this is the amulet that Spongebob and Patrick find the other half of in Jellyfish Fields. And they bring it here where they meet Squidward, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs. And they get on the van over here, which I think looks really cool compared to the pictures of it in the show. Oh yeah. Super accurate. Yeah, it turned out really well. So if we go inside the van here, we got the seats and everything, but if we drop down here and grab a minecart out of the chest here. Let's go. Watch out below. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, God, that was a horrible. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we have Atlantis. As you guys can see, um, this was a super cool build, and it took a really long time. As you guys can see, the shell is completely surrounding it, and it's super big. We'll show you guys once we're done. But yeah, that's about it for you know looking at it from the outside. We have these little buildings over here throughout which are for like the community members and then the big staircases come up on each of the four sides which I think those turned out really cool the yellow stained glass makes them look really cool yeah and then they have these little ponds at the bases of the stairs so we put those in but we can actually go up the stairs now <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this is the table where they met and ate their dinner before they were kicked out for popping the bubble. Uh, this yeah. is a pretty simple, pretty simple area, so we can move on to the bottom area. If we take this water elevator down, it takes me and the Ender Dragon to the four <laughs> rooms, which hey. we can start with Squidward's. Do you want to talk about this one? Sure. So in here we have the art room where they take Squidward, and it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's just a bunch of paintings, and then there's supposed to be a little statue in the middle, but unfortunately we can't just build a little tiny statue in Minecraft, yeah. so... We thought we'd just this put this stand. here to resemble it, but that's about all that we could do. Yeah. Um, this this one's pretty simple, and so is Mr. Krabs' one. So we'll go there next. This is the um the money vault or the money room, which is just like heaping piles of gold coins and diamonds and things like that. So we just have gold blocks and diamonds here to represent it. Then we can move on. Next, we got the oldest first bubble room. So, pretty much there would be a little tiny bubble in there. That'd be floating around. And SpongeBob and Patrick pop. That would be in there. Or I can be in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can move on to the last room that's down here, which is Sandy's technology room where she gets trapped in the video game. So this is the machine that she gets trapped in, which I think looks really cool. I think the lights on the side really make it, I guess, light up, which makes sense. But then around the room, they just have different things that the Atlanteans use to build things. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the technology room.
Yeah. So uh, I, mean, I think that's good. it for the inside of Atlantis. We can go ahead and show you guys the outside of this so you can see how big it actually is. Because this is this build is just massive. Freaking huge. You guys can see the tunnel that comes up here. But yeah, if you guys look at this, it's probably just as big as Goo Lagoon. Definitely bigger than Karate Island. Which I'll show you guys quick. Karate Island's looking sick. Yeah. This will be in a future episode. But. Yeah. Oh my god. We've got a few other things that we're working on, so. Yeah. There's always something to do. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Atlantis and Prehistoric Times. We hope you did enjoy. Make sure to go check out Drew's Perspective. His link will be down in the description. So make sure to go check him out. Subscribe to him. Make sure you're subscribed to me if you aren't already. But yeah, we'll see you guys next Wednesday when the next episode does come out. Apologies for this one coming out a day late. We had some technical difficulties, which I won't go into. But make sure to leave a like. Hope you guys did enjoy. We'll see you next time.